The autonomic nervous system functions essentially below awareness. It is made up of three circuits. I will be showing them on this chart. What you see here are the two axes. Vertical axis is for autonomic nervous system arousal. The horizontal axis is for threat. On the right is maximum threat and on the left is safety. Evolutionarily, the first circuit that came up is a simple on-off switch. That's what you see represented here as the yellow rectangle for shutdown. It is a passive survival strategy. All resources that are not essential for survival are shut down. This is essentially similar to what happens to an animal that hibernates. Once the threat is over, the animal can come back to life. The second circuit to evolve is the sympathetic nervous system. While the first circuit brought energy down to very low levels, well below normal functioning levels, this one boosts energy much, much higher than the normal functioning range. It gives the energy for fight or flight. That is an active survival strategy. It is the energy of panic or of uncontrolled anger. The third circuit to come up evolutionarily is the one you see in the green box in the middle of the activation range. It evolved as we were becoming more and more of a social animal. It is able to mediate the complexities of social relationships. This circuit allows us to make the most of our emotions, of our ability to move, of our cognition. Now, what happens under threat? The circuits get activated in the reverse order from the evolutionary order. That is, the first circuit to be activated is the mindful engagement circuit. When this circuit is engaged, our experience of the threat is more like a challenge, certainly not an existential threat. The experience is that we have the situation pretty much under control and we can modulate our response in a way that is appropriate to the situation. We are aware of the nuances of what happens outside as well as inside. If the threat is not one that we can manage that way, the second circuit, the sympathetic fight flight, red box is activated. This is an emergency situation. The boost of energy goes toward our ability to fight or to run away. And energy is not wasted in thinking or in having peripheral vision. The experience we have in that state is not very nuanced. It's an all or nothing experience, danger versus survival. In such a state, we are not looking to explore the subtleties of felt sense experience. The goal of therapy is to contain the energy so that it gets into the more manageable, mindful engagement mode. If the threat cannot be managed through the sympathetic system, then the organism reverts to the shutdown mode, the yellow box of energy conservation and passive survival. The experience and the felt sense are going to reflect a sense of collapse, the inability to move, to experience emotions, a sense of dissociation from reality.